Hi everyone, my name is Melissa, and in this video I want to examine the alphabets to columns challenge from Excel BI. The task is to turn this single column table into a table where each letter has its own column and is repeated as many times as, as it's present in the source table as well. So although this is a very unlikely requirement for you to encounter, it is a wonderful scenario to practice your skills. Therefore, if you haven't participated yet and want to give this a go yourself, I highly recommend it. This video will be waiting for you to return. A link to the challenge can be found in the description of this video. Let's go to the Power Query Editor. Sometimes you can have a very clear idea in your head about how you want to approach your problem. When that happens to me, I'll often open up the advanced editor window and start typing. Let's see what that looks like. So for me, it's clear that we need a list with unique alphabet letters present in the alphabets column. To create that, I'll create a variable. I'll call that columns to add. And that will be equal to the list distinct. I can call my source. And refer to the column alphabets. Let's see what that looks like. So let's return that variable. Perfect. Now we can also sort this list, of course, in the correct order. So list sort. Order ascending. Press the check mark. Perfect. So with this list of unique values, I can generate a list that contains that letter as many times as is present in the source table. Let's see what that looks like. So this will be our result. Table from columns. List transform. And I can call my columns to add list. So that's the list that we're seeing on the screen right here. And for each element in that list, I want to repeat that. So list repeat. I'm going to give that a list. Pass in the underscore. So for each list, that will be its own value. Comma. And now we need to count how many times that letter is present in the source table. So list count. List select. Call the source alphabets. And from this source alphabets, we want to make sure that that value is equal to the value from the outer iteration. So we have columns to add. That's the list that we're seeing right here. And then we have our source list that has all of the elements. So we want to make sure that those items match. So the inner list and the outer list. So X is equal to the underscore. Let's see if I've got enough closing brackets. Yes, I do. Comma. Then I can call my columns to add variable again as new column names and return the result. Press done. Wonderful. That works. However, Bill Scissors did something that immediately put a big smile on my face. 
it was so much more straightforward. I'm going to demonstrate his solution here as well. So here we go. I'll duplicate my solution. Let's duplicate that. Change the name. And remove my steps. So the first thing Bill did was he grouped on alphabets. Let's do that. I'll group by. And I'm going to bring back all of the rows. Let's call this list. Right. So now we have a table, but we don't need a table. We just need the alphabets. So I can call that column to get a list. I'll copy that here. So instead of the underscore in a set of square brackets, I'm just going to paste in the column name. And that will no longer return a table, but that will return a list. Let's press that check mark. Perfect. We can sort on the alphabets here. So sort that ascending. And now we have the unique column names in the alphabets column. And we have all of the column values in the list here. So we can construct a table like we did a short while ago. I'll open the advanced editor window and I'll rename this step. Let's call that sort rows. Copy that. So comma. Results equals table from columns. So the columns, the column values are in lists right here, right? And that wants a list. So we can call our sort rows, control V, and call that column list. And for the column names, all I have to do is refer to the column alphabets. Again, refer to that previous step name and call alphabets. Let's return this. And press done. Awesome. So in this video, you've seen two approaches to the alphabets to column challenge from Excel BI. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.